The Puerto Rican Heritage Poster Series exemplifies uh, collective efforts that have been undertaken since the 1970s to rescue, document, and preserve the rich history of Puerto Rican migration and the presence and contributions of Puerto Ricans to U.S. society. The Centro de Estudios Puerto Ricanos, or as we call it, Centro, has been a leading contributor to this effort. The poster series is a project aimed at providing an attractive visual educational tool for teachers to use and display in the classroom and for students to be introduced and drawn to the historical information highlighted in the poster captions and images. This material includes uh, important historical moments in the evolution of the New York Puerto Rican community and a few ones on other geographic areas, prominent community leaders and their noteworthy accomplishments, and organizations or institutions that these Puerto Rican uh, pioneros and pioneras, both men and women, created at a given time and which played a key role in the lives of Puerto Ricans during the process of building their communities in the United States. The map, which is labeled Where Do Puerto Ricans Live, shown at the top of poster one, indicates the U.S. states where Puerto Ricans were residing during the year 2010. As you can see, Puerto Ricans are living in every state and every region of the U.S. and their population ranges from being fewer than 1,000 Puerto Ricans in North Dakota to almost 1.1 million people in New York State, with only 740,000 of these living in New York City. Thus, the ongoing demographic dispersion away from New York and towards other cities and states is a major characteristic of the Puerto Rican population in the U.S. In 2010, the U.S. Census Bureau reported that half of the Puerto Rican population in the United States was settled in the Northeast, particularly around New York State and surrounding states, including New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, but also Massachusetts, as well as the state of Hawaii. In fact, Puerto Ricans represent the largest Latino groups in these states. So in Osceola County, it's, it's more dramatic still. That's the area south of Orlando around Kissimmee, and where a lot of the theme park workers live. Uh, that in 1980, the percentage of Puerto Ricans to total population was about 0.85 percent, and by 2010, uh, the number had grown to 27 percent Puerto Rican to the total population. And numerically, this is of course smaller than New York, which still continues to have the largest Puerto Rican population. But in terms of impact in the area and percent to the total population, it's now it's now surpassed New York City. In 1910, there were 1,500 Puerto Ricans in the United States. By 2010, however, 4.7 million Puerto Ricans had made the United States their home. In fact, right now, there are more Puerto Ricans in the United States than in the island of Puerto Rico. In fact, two-thirds of those Puerto Ricans in the United States were born in the United States. So this is where we are, and this raises the question, how did we get here? And the answer to that question is, we got here because we were looking for jobs. And the government, both of Puerto Rico and the United States, facilitated the migration of Puerto Ricans in order for Puerto Ricans to fill labor positions in the United States. 